One of the great things about having a garden is the life that it brings to your yard, and even on occasion, a song. Jeff Ray has a gardening 101 on how to bring the birds. I do what I can to get songbirds into my backyard. I use bird fountains, I use bird seed, but you know, you, you can grow your way to a better bird habitat. Birds are like us. They look for food, water, and a home. They need a large shrub or a tree that has plenty of foliage, lots of branches in it where they can roost and, and hide from predators, uh, where they can build a nest. So habitat is important. If you have the place for a full-size tree, there is a native perfect for this job, an eastern red cedar. It serves up both shelter and supper. Yes, the trees are male and female, so you need to have a male in the mix in order to get the blueberries on a female. And that's food for the birds. Exactly. Growing food will keep birds coming back for years. There are several shrubs that provide, like this beauty. The mature shrub will have uh, uh, iridescent purple berries lining the stems. They're beautiful. And they show up in the fall, and any fruit eating bird would enjoy the American beauty berry. Most grow holly simply as an ornamental, but when these berries turn red, it's like ringing the dinner bell. This is a Yopon holly. Yes, it is. Also native to Texas, and it's loaded with berries. This is a female. Again, these trees come as male and female, so you want to get a female if you want the berries. Food and shelter. Provide it, and they will fly to your home. It's a gardening 101.